for indeed I did feel relief. And it seemed to me that other alcoholics could find a kindred experience. And I began to sense that one alcoholic talking to another might do what none others could to open the way for the grace of God. So I commenced to work with others, and nothing happened. A succession of failures there was for six months. Meanwhile, my first friend began to stumble and fall by the wayside and would not be picked up and set right. Then the family began to say, well, when in heaven's name is this guy Wilson going to go back to work? How long is he going to be a missionary? And uh, in my search for work, I stumbled into a business opportunity which took me out to Akron, and it promptly collapsed. And I was in a terribly distraught state. And suddenly, panic in fear of getting drunk. And then I remembered how much it has helped me to try to help others, even though none had responded. And I thought to myself, now, this is something different again. I am no dispenser of grace. I must find another alcoholic and help him if I remain free. That was a realization that has since counted much. And by a singular chain of circumstance that no one could call coincidence, I was presently brought face to face with our well-loved Dr. Bob and his aunt, brought together by a non-alcoholic. You know, non-alcoholics have played a conspicuous part in this movement of ours. We were brought together by a non-alcoholic who understood and who had time and who cared enough. So he and I met in our living room in Akron, in the summer of 1935. And this time, I needed that alcoholic as much as he needed me. There was mutuality, which there hadn't been before. Something happened. Something new began to happen. And he was released and stayed that way until our friend left us last November. Annie, however, was on the prudent side, and uh, she uh, said, Bill, uh, wouldn't you like to come over and live at our house a while? Uh, you might look after Bob, and uh, he could look after you. And maybe you could do together what you couldn't do separately. So I went there to live in that dear place. And presently, Dr. Bob said to me, uh, don't you think, my friend, uh, even in self-protection, we had better be working with some more drunks? 